Walking these streets so long Singing the same old song I know every crack in these dirty sidewalks of Broadway Where hustle's the name of the game And nice guys get washed away like the snow and the rain No, it will never be the last chapter <laughs> <laughs> Amber? Yeah, we're getting we're um everybody can hear you hear you, which is good, but for some reason Sam can't. Crap. So, let's see. Okay, never mind, it sounds like they can. Okay. Um, I don't okay, know. they can hear Sam. I can't hear him. All right. Sam, can you say something? All right. Is he on again? I can't hear him. Is Sam talking? Hmm. Uh-oh. All right, let's fix it. Yeah. yeah, I can't hear him either. Oh, can you, can you, he says there's no sound, but Yahoo Police and Joey Jeremiah can hear, is that right? Huh. Okay. So, you guys can hear now. All right, go ahead and put you back in. <laughs> You're back. All right. Can you talk, Sam? Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, you sound like you're naked. I sound like I'm naked. <laughs> Is that what you okay, there you go. That's better. You were okay. you were breathing really hard into the phone. Um. Well. <laughs> That has nothing to do with this okay, project. Can, can everyone hear Sam and Ramona? Yeah, I think we're good now. Okay, somebody says I'm too loud. Are the people in Skype, am I too loud? No, you're better now. Okay. Down hour says I'm too loud. Still, okay. Um, let me... <laughs> Let me pull my microphone volume back a bit. Am I still too loud? Yeah, YouTube people? All sounds good, somebody says. Okay. Sounds sounds good. Okay. Right on. All right. <laughs> Captain Spaz is anxious. Okay. Thank you, Mikey. Mikey says I'm fine, and I interpret that to mean that he thinks I'm attractive. <laughs> okay, I'm, right. I'm going mute. All right, Sam, go All on right. mute. All right, here we go. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Oh, going. How you going? How you doing? I'm doing well. All things Mom considered. Okay. Say again? Mom okay? Yeah, she's just freaking out, but we'll get to that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but go ahead, what were you going to say? She's freaking out about what? We'll get to that, but go ahead, what were you going to say? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I didn't say what, what she well, what's, out about. well, what's new with you? I applied for a job today that if I can get it all and making double what I was making at Chasey. Oh, good for you. Yeah, well, actually double plus. Good, 
even better for you. Good job. Yeah, no kidding. Doing what? Driving truck. Nice. Are you, are they like one of the ones paying like for the mileage or? I'm not sure how they pay yet, but the guy told me that guaranteed it's sixty seven thousand. And uh, make more than that, but guaranteed a sixty seven thousand. Nice. Well, that's what I said. If I get nice, you know, call me <laughs> off, off the train. I have to have to ride from here to Portland, to, you know, just to get to the place where I get to work. Where we? Uh, so you go from like here to well, here meaning where you are to Portland, and then you drive like around Maine or. Yeah, be around Maine. There, I guess once in a while I have to go to Massachusetts, which I'll have to talk to my probation officer about that and make sure it's all right with that, which I know it'll be all right. I'll just tell me to call when I go out of state and call when I get back in. I think uh, there's a good chance that they'll that they'll let you. I think there is too. It's just a matter of getting a job. I try to call my Didn't call me back yet, so I filled the application out anyway. So if I get the job, if I get the job, he calls me in the meantime between now and when I get the job, and I can discuss it with him. That's awesome. So, <laughs> so, so what's new? Well, with my mom or in general? Well, I mean... In general, then with your mom? Well, my surgery... I, I think I told you my surgery is next week. You told me you're going to reschedule. We never told me for when. Yeah, so it's next week, my surgery. They're going to be... On the 17th, they're going to be giving me a new ACL. And so I'm going to be up meaning laid up, like, can't put weight on it for, like, four to six weeks, and then if they fix the meniscus tears, it'll be six to eight weeks. Oh, nice. I'm to heal. Say again? So hopefully it won't take long to heal. That's true, yeah. Sound pretty occupied. What are you doing? No, I'm, my mom is freaking out. My dad is freaking out. <laughs> I, I, you know how you had that week. Okay, let me let me just let me just set the stage. You know how you had that week where you lost your job, lost your trailer, lost your vehicle, <laughs> all in the same week. Yep. Well, that, well, that's this week, but I haven't lost things like that, but it's just that, well, I don't have a trailer, so I can't lose my trailer, but it's just like my mom is just freaking out. My dad is freaking out, and they, hmm, well, let me rewind. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the day before, um, is that your TV I hear? Yeah, I'm watching Titanic. You turn it down. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> and, then, and then you remember how you had that bad week, and then at the end, it's kind of like you're laughing because it's like, it's like all of it piles up at once. <laughs> yeah, you can't believe it is. All of it piles up at once. So my my mom and I we were out kind of like <laughs> doing like kind of like a girls' day kind of thing. I think the I think it was the day before yesterday, the day before that. Um, and so we you know we did a bunch of stuff, went to the movies, all sorts of things. And one of the things we did was we went grocery shopping. And of course, of course, who did we run into? Oh, I'm sure. Who? I'm sure I can guess. The doctor. Hey, guess. Huh? The doctor. Wrong. Oh. 
Uh, nope. Uh, no. Nope, we did not run into the doctor. Um, well, that, was, that was my first guess. So. No, that that might have that might have that might have been well. No, that would have been better than who we ran into. Um, who ran into? Well, you know the neighbor works at a grocery store, and oh yeah, he well he works the the chain that he works at is about maybe. Well, the, the 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 location of the chain that he works at is maybe about fifteen minutes from where we live, and I was like forty five minutes from where we live at my parents' house. And so we went to a grocery store that's by them, but it's of the same chain. And of course he was there training people. He was, he was doing what? He was there training new hires, oh, oh. training a new manager. And so, God, this week, this week is just so ridiculous. Anyway, and so we ran into him, and he ran up. He gave me a big hug, and my mom's like, oh, you know this guy. And I'm like, yeah, he's my neighbor, and he's a good friend of mine. And she, in typical my mom fashion, because my mom has the biggest mouth on the side of the country, and um, she doesn't mince her words, she asked, you know, because I said, there's a friend of mine. She said, just a friend. And I said, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. He's my neighbor. And she said, why isn't he your husband? <laughs> and, and I said, mom, you know, don't go there. And so um, he kind of said, you know, like he, you know, he basically said, I'm trying to work on that. And she said, why, why, why isn't he your husband? He said, I'm working on it. And so I was embarrassed. I kind of like, you know, started blushing. And so then when we walked away, I'm like, Mom, you know, I have a boyfriend. Stop. And so she, I'm not going to tell you what she said. I won't tell you. But she. No, um, tell me. Tell me. Get it tell me. I'm not going to judge your mom anyway. I should tell no. you what she said. Why not? <laughs> She doesn't really doesn't know me, so I'm gonna expect she said something bad. <laughs> These were her exact words. I said, "Mom, I have a boyfriend." These were her exact words. An old registered sex offender who lives in Michigan, and I just said, <laughs> and I just said he lives in Maine. <laughs> I just said, <laughs> uh, "Yeah, tell her to get the get a friend. get at least a sweet right <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> and so <laughs> so has, has she seen what I look like yeah she's cause, cause she saw the registered sex offender page uh-huh. yeah <laughs> uh-huh. and so I said Michigan, and so then, like when I said that, she kind of got mad at me, and like, um, <laughs> she was just like, you know, like talking about how she raised me and all this whole stuff, and how they raised me, and and whatever they they said, and I said, Mom, I said you don't know what you're talking about, just just stop, just 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 stop. And so she then says, well, I want you to talk to someone who's mutual, or not mutual, but who's, um, what's the word, uh, not mutual, but unbiased. She wants you, I want you to talk to someone who's unbiased. And I said, I have friends, you know, I can talk to anybody. And she said, no, I need to see what's wrong with you. I want you to talk to a therapist. <laughs> It's not, no, it's not funny. It's not funny because I, I, I don't find that funny. That's not like she, she shouldn't have done that to me, but they did that to me. And they, and I said to her, I said, you know, I said, no. And she said, and I find him, I find it funny for the simple fact that she thinks that somebody, just because somebody's on the sex offender registry, that, the um, that, that, that does, Something wrong with me that they're not normal people. When people just go through things and they make mistakes. 
Sometimes but, uh, I like my, like my shit, fucking gear it up, and I'm just putting things straight. But, well, uh, the, the sad thing is, is, is there's going to be a lot of people on the sex offender registry because they're, they're making laws now that you can't, sexting is even going to be a crime. So, people sexting are, is going to be a crime? Sexting is going to be a crime. They're already, they're already trying to pass it. They've been trying to pass it for the last year, year and a half, almost a year and a half. The council told me about that one. So there's going to be a lot of sex offenders. How are they going to make sex in a crime? They can't regulate it. Um, then I, I don't know how they're going to do it. it it's, they think of ways to do shit. I don't think it's going to pass for one second. Um, I wouldn't think it would, but... It's not going to pass. They're all, it's all about money. They, they are... I, I don't think they're going to pass that any more than they would be able to pass married couples having sex with each other um, as a, making them sex with them. For some reason, they, they seem to think that sex is, is dirty and it's nature. Part of nature, they do it themselves, but they think it's dirty. Well, my mom... Now that I think about it, you know, it, it's funny because my mom heard the... My mom heard, I was going to say the drunk, drunken sex, and, or not text, but um, conversations, but there's so many, but I don't know what she heard, but I know that there were a few of them because she tried to play one for me the other day. And um, so she heard that, and I, I then had to laugh and think, well, I'm, kind of glad that they sent that and not the chat log. I don't know which is worse, but she's, she's, when I say my mom's freaking out, I mean, my mom's freaking out. Like I said, I've seen my dad cry one time outside of this and it was when, you know, I was a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, At a store. I mean, because he was, he was just like upset. (laughs) I had never done anything bad before. And, you know, he, he's getting called to come pick me up, me up from the mall because I had done something that I shouldn't have done. But outside of that, and that, I mean, was like tears coming out of his eyes. But, I mean, this, he he was bawling. And well, you, can, I, you, can, you, can, you can tell them they can look on my record and I've never done anything bad before this year except the OUI that the only reason I got it was because I didn't want my brother driving or um, my brother was walking drunk on the road. And I thought I was sober at the time, but still had some in there. I wanted to fall in the seat and then got an accident. That's the only reason I got that. I just don't know how to explain the drunken calls that they heard. I just... I, they don't know my history either. That's what, um, that's what my drunken rants and raves are all, all about, being paranoid. Being paranoid because we haven't, we haven't met. Scared the same things ain't going to happen all over again. Because, yeah, it's like, um, they... They were they were really disturbed by that, and that's the one thing. Like I mean, the I when when they asked me about the RSO, I just told them what you told me about you know it being your sibling's fault, and that they pretty much 
you know. Well, it, was my, it was my fault that I did what I did. But it was... Well, I told him that it was... My family and friends that got me to the point where I couldn't think straight about anything I was doing that I moved away. Yeah, I just told him what you told me. Yeah. And so... That was, was a bad time in my life. And so I'm not going to repeat what they said, but... Um, Repeat it. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I expect that they're going to think bad things. They they don't know me. All they know is what they've known, what they what they've seen with the with the tapes or whatever the they, conversations that we had on drunk and everything they, they see you. on the internet. They don't they really know me. But yeah, but they heard you calling me a bitch and a piece of shit. They That wasn't, that didn't go over well. Um, I'm sure it didn't. I'm sure it wouldn't go over well with me either. It was my daughter. I was, I was drunk in me and my dad's gone. Well, so here's the thing. This is what <laughs> this is what happened. So they made me see a therapist, and I tried the whole, you know, well, let's do one that's really close, you know, like, because I said, you know, I said I have them. <laughs> they, they know, of course, of the doctor, but they haven't met him or anything. They know of the doctor, and... um <laughs> they, you know, so I said, well, I have a doctor friend who I'm sure has therapist friends and, you know, and bro went to school with some people. So let's see, you know, so let me see one of those kinds of therapists. And they were like, no. And plus, I don't think that, you know, my mom was like, no. And plus, I don't think that that's legal. And so um, she went and she found one. And I said, you know, and I told her, I said, I'm not going to see a therapist. I said, you know, I live on my own. I'm an adult, you can't make me do anything. And she, and she pulled the whole, well, if it doesn't end and if you do continue with this, you are going to not. Basically, she said, if you choose this, then you're choosing this over your inheritance. You choose me over your inheritance? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, Say again. Yeah, that, that, that's something that's up to you. Me personally, I'd, I'd give a rat's ass less about money, but. Well, I came up with an idea so I don't have to choose. I came up with an idea and I told, I told my mom I would do this. And so, um, Speaking of mom, she's messaging me because of this. Hang on a second. What does she want? Okay, anyway, so um, I came up with an idea. So I told my mom, I was like, well, mom, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to break up with him, and I'll let the therapist hear. So what I'm asking you is if like, you and I, like, stage a breakup, and, you know, he can tell my mom that, that you know, I ended it, and then um, that'll put them at ease. That'll put them at ease, but that's also lying. But I gotta do this one. 
you have no problem with lying. You've lied many, many times before, and now it's lying for the sake of... No, but the whole time you told me to lie. <laughs> no, Lauren, but this this is different, and plus, you continue to lie. I'm not lying. I'm not lying about anything. Well... It's not about the inheritance. It's about my family freaking out. You don't have, you don't, you have no idea what I've had to. Okay. But when we do this. Yeah. And we're still together. What are you going to tell your parents when they find out that we're still together? That they can kiss my ass. <laughs> You have no idea what I've had to go through the past few days. Sorry, baby. No time. Sorry. <laughs> trying to figure it out because... Everybody! My phone... <laughs> My phone was up going off because everybody's messaging me. Everybody's calling me and everybody's freaking out. I love the house. I love it. I left the house, my apartment, you know what I mean? I left the house to go to work yesterday. You left the house to go to work? Not, not work. I didn't need to say work. Hey, you're not supposed to be working. I'm not working. I love it. I don't even know what you're saying. Hang your arms. Just take, a, take a deep breath and relax for a minute. I can't even be straight. I've just been going through so much. <laughs> Relax for a minute, baby. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Whenever you're ready. So, when I left yesterday, Guess who came? Guess who came? Huh? TJ is here. TJ <laughs> came to your house? I haven't seen her in months. <laughs> is he here? <laughs> And he went with me to my appointment yesterday. He went with you where? I, to my appointment yesterday. Everybody is freaking out. You say that this morning. I had a couple of doctor's appointments yesterday. And everybody's freaking out. I just feel ill. I can't even, I can't even think straight. Like, I'm not used to this much. Much backlash. Pressure being on me. Oh. 
Uh, I know how you feel. So, um... It's not fun. Yeah, it's like... Now you can call me a fucking asshole and piece of shit and everything like that. Well, I don't think so. I don't understand. <laughs> now it's like I... I'm just not used to it. And, like, I made the mistake of, like, calling Nana. Well, it's not, it's never a mistake to call Nana, but... I made the mistake of calling Nana earlier, and I said, like, when she picked up, I just said, yeah, everyone's lying, nothing they say is true, and don't believe anybody, and she didn't know, like, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't know what I was talking about, and I was like, oh, gosh, thank goodness that they didn't, thank goodness that they didn't um, tell her. Oh, gosh. Of course, she's messaging me again. Hang on. So I told her earlier that I would call my therapist, our therapist, the therapist, whatever, and that I would be done, like I would, I would end it, and that they wouldn't have to worry, so... If you don't want to do it, I understand, but um, it would just make my life a lot easier because I have a lot of people <laughs> breathing down my neck. Nothing, <laughs> nothing's going to change with us, but at least they would stop freaking the heck out. For how long? For how long what? How long will they stop freaking out? Oh, they'll stop freaking out. Until they find out that we're together. Then, you know what, then, then, then when they find out on my time, then that's fine, but, like. This is your time. It's our time. It's, but it's not my time. Was, was, was my time really having some bullshit sent to my parents? With your picture on, with your your registered sex offender profile printout, and a conversation. Did you find out who sent that? No. Who, it, was, who would be able to get your your parents' address or even your parents' name? My anyone who hacked into my phone easily has my address and possibly my social security, but easily has my parents' address because I still have stuff from time to time sent there. If I'm having a big package sent, I'll have Amazon send it there if there's going to be nobody in the office. Okay, so tell me about, um, tell me about this crap with demo. Who? Emma. Ember. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about Emma. I'm talking about my parents freaking the fuck out and acting the way that they have the past few days. Oh, and my... I, I, okay, I, I don't... That. Okay, I, I don't, can I care less about... We're going to get, get back to that, but I, you know, I, want, I, want to, I want to know. You, the, the stuff that... But I got the letter. None of that's true, or 
None of that's true. And I'm not thinking about Emma. I'm thinking about my parents. And well, I'm I know. Okay, that is where my focus is right now. Well, I know. That's where my focus is, too. But uh, I'm just getting that letter. Fuck me up. Well, you know what? Because I, I, I was like, you know, like, what the hell's going on with that? Yeah, well, you know what fucked me up? My my parents act in the way that they have. Well, my I don't. brother flying here in the middle of the night. <laughs> I understand, baby. I understand that. One thing I don't understand is I understand that. The reason I mentioned Emma in that letter is because it, it didn't make any sense to me. And that's what we've been together so long. It didn't make any sense to me. So what did TJ say to you? You know what TJ said to me. TJ said the same exact thing that everybody said with the added... No, I'm not going to go there. Well, go ahead. Uh, well, let's just say let's just say he became a brand ambassador for the doctor. Kind of expected that. Yeah, well, why'd you make me say it? Well, I didn't know if that was exactly what you did say. Or what I thought. We're all trying to push the doctor on you. Yeah. But, uh, you know what, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Basically what they're saying is they want you to live your life for them, not for you. No. They want you to live your life for what they want your life to be, not what you want your life to be. But Lauren, I could not argue with, like, it's like, I mean, maybe I could argue the registered sex offender thing, but I cannot argue the alcohol thing, and they were not supposed to find that out. They weren't supposed to know that. Yeah, my mom has a sick sense of humor. I love her, but she has a sick sense of humor. Because you said what? Well, let's just say she was quoting pieces of what she heard. Oh. I get I mean, nothing either one of us can do to stop that. Lauren, I'm asking you. I'm asking you if we can do this. It'll it'll take it'll take like I don't know, five, ten minutes. And I already got my parents to pay for the time. And I told her that that I would do this. I already got her to pay for the time. So he's just waiting for me to call him. We can do it, so it'll make it easier for you to her right now. But what are you going to do? Well, I'll think about that. 
well, I'll think about that in a few months. I just need to get everybody off my back. It's really getting me up to time. It can't be a few months before we meet either. Lauren, we can think about that later. Just let me call him and let's just do this. Let's just do this. I don't know what he's going to say. I don't, I'm just going to. But my mom paid for the time. And so, because I, I told her I was going to do it. And so let's just, let me call him. Hold on a second. 1130 at night? Yes. Let me call him. Hold on. And let me let me say this: when he um, when later on, um, if he like wants to talk to me like privately, just stay on the line. I don't think he'll know. Okay, in fact, he won't know. There'll be no way. So just stay on. You can listen and stay on, and then. All right, let me turn the TV um, down, man. All right, turn the TV down. I'm going to get him on. Hang on. Can you hear my TV? I don't know if he's on. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, is this Ramona? Yes, how are you? Hey, good, good. Thanks for, uh, I'm just here in my home office uh, here at the house, uh, but I've been uh, expecting your call, so um Glad we were able to do this. Now, um, I'm to understand that um, your boyfriend... Are you sure it's not too late? Are you sure it's not too late? No, 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 I no, no, no. I, no, no, this is fine. No, we, um, as we discussed, you know, this is... Yeah, no, it's it's no sweat, no problem at all. Um, I know I was I'm, supposed to do something, and I ended up going out to dinner, and then I was supposed to do neither. So I know I just kept pushing it back. I'm, thank you so much for saying no, that. No, no, that's... So sorry. That's fine. Now, I'm to understand that uh, your boyfriend, Lauren, is on the line as well? Is that yes. Yes, I'm right here. Hi, Lauren. Uh, my name is Barry Viner. I'm a licensed therapist. Uh, I'm a family therapist. I specialize in... Hi. I specialize in adult-child-parent uh, relationships, and um, Ramona's parents have availed themselves to my services. Um before we begin, pursuant to Vincent's Law and the requirements of the Medical and Betterment Society of the Commonwealth of Maryland, I'm required to inform you both that this phone call constitutes a private and uh, confidential patient service session, subject to all the guidelines of patient practitioner confidentiality, and will be treated as such. Uh, I do have to say, because of the late hour and the fact that I'm taking this call from my domicile, I will have to bill it as a house call in accordance with standard protocol. But... Um, do, you, do either of you have any questions for me uh, regarding uh, any of what I've told you so far? I'm good so far. Okay. Lauren, how about you? Nope. I'm, um, I'm good. Okay. Now, do you prefer Lauren or Lori? I, um, I've known a couple of Laurens in my life and uh, knew I had a, a friend when I was in college whose name was Lauren, but he, uh, his nickname was Lori. Everybody called him Lori. So do you prefer Lauren or Lori or something else? Lauren. Lauren, Lauren? Yeah, you heard of Lauren Green, right? Uh, yes, sir, I have. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just like, just like that. He's my name's Okay, Lauren. Well, uh, Lauren, the reason that... Um, that we're speaking tonight is because Ramona's parents uh, recently availed themselves of my services um, because they're concerned about Ramona's relationship with you. And um, I have had a, a, a chance to speak with uh, Ramona briefly. Um, and uh, I'll be frank with you, I'll be candid with you. Um, uh, mom and dad's concern here is that Ramona may be in a, in a, potentially unhealthy uh, relationship um, and um, their objective here I think um, speaking off the record is to um, facilitate um, 
a change in the nature of your relationship with her. And uh, to be quite candid with you, um, this uh, conversation that we're having is something that I had arranged with, uh, with Ramona's mom. And um, I, what she wanted from this was for me to be able to verify that Ramona was taking immediate and drastic measures to terminate her relationship with you. Now, obviously, I can't um, compel Ramona to do this. Um, I can't make any guarantees to her parents that, that that's what's going to happen. But um, candidly speaking, it's my professional opinion that that's what needs to happen for her sake. And um, so one of the things that we discussed um, was the possibility that uh, she would take that action here with me as a witness it would be something that i could um then pass on to mom and dad um to sort of satisfy their um, concerns wishes motivated by their concern for her so obviously i want to open up the floor to both of you i know this is a um a complicated matter and certainly not an easy conversation for any of us to have, but, um, I want to, I want to hear from you guys. Um, I want to know what your thoughts are about this. And, um, so I'm, I'm opening up the floor now for either of you to, to, um, unburden yourself. Neither of you have um, any thoughts on the matter or anything to say Lauren uh, is this something that you have, have been made aware of uh, regarding uh, Ramona's parents feelings toward you um, yeah. my uh, I don't know what to say yeah. I um here it goes again. I li I literally have no one I can talk to about yeah. this. Okay, so I'm yes. I'm hearing a lot of pent up aggression, tension. I'm um, so freaking mad at my family. <laughs> Oh God. Are, you, are um, you sure it's are you sure it's not Lauren you're angry with? I'm getting so upset. I don't know what I'm mad at. I don't I don't know. I'm I, like <laughs> Lauren, how do you feel when you hear Ramona react emotionally? She's obviously um very upset right now. <laughs> What does that do to you? Um, it upsets me because I know, I know exactly what she's going through. I've, I've been going through it for months upon months with my therapist and my counselor and mm -hmm. my probation officer. Mm -hmm. In what sense have you been going through the same uh, thing she's going through right now? Do you have people in your life telling you that she's bad for you, yeah. unhealthy for you? Yeah, when they when they don't know, and, and she's the one who's been the most healthy for them. Okay. Um, even with all the, stuff, the pent up anger that I've had, she's she's stuck there with me, and I've been able to rely on her and be there. To yeah, talk to me and I'm I'm glad you things and I'm glad you mentioned the anger because uh, there's something I need to ask you about. I um was made privy recently to a recorded phone conversation between you and Ramona um, in which you were very aggressive, um, I would say verbally abusive, um, called her several derogatory names. And um, I'm curious to know how you justify behavior like that. Do you think she deserves to be treated that way? No. No, she does not deserve to be treated that way. I'm mm -hmm. trying to work on not being like that. 
So would you say that you are like that normally? Is, is that typical behavior no, for you? No, so it's not typical behavior, but you're working on not doing it anymore. I'm working on not doing it anymore. What brought it on was being meeting women on the internet and getting so you meet screwed by women on the internet and lied to. The one was the only one that's never done it to me. When I, when I have my therapist, my counselor, and my probation officer all tell me so that Ramona's not. You're saying that she she Ramona's is. the only. You're, you're saying that other women that you've met online have been dishonest, manipulative toward you, and Ramona's the only one who hasn't been. So the way you reward that yeah. behavior is by yelling at her and calling her names. No, I get confused when I talk to my therapist and my counselor and my probation and, officer. And, they and when you're confused, and they tell me that Ramona's not, Ramona's not real. Mm. It confuses so, me and it messes me up. So the way that you express that confusion is by yelling at her, calling her names. Yeah. Oh, and you don't think that's disturbing? I do think it's wrong. Mm. I think it's wrong. I think it's disturbing, and I'm trying to cure that. Uh huh. And, and what are you doing to try to cure it? Um, talking to my therapist about it now. Uh-huh. And, and what does your therapist say? Uh, that's confidential. That's your therapist, so you know. That sure. Fair enough. Um, Ramona, how often would you say, how frequently would you say the recording that I'm making reference to, how typical of uh, the conversations you have with Lauren would you say that is? Is that something that occurs every day? Bi-weekly, monthly? Um, well, I think it's been, right now it's been um, two weeks, I think, since he had a drink. But um, mm. so it used to be every week and sometimes twice a week. Mm -hmm. but, Lauren, do you have... Happened? Do you have an issue with drinking? Obviously, you're not under any uh, compulsion to answer any of my questions. Uh, I want you to understand. I know these, these some of these questions are tough, but um, I'm I'm operating um, on Ramona's behalf here. So everything that I um, say and do here with the two of you is um, in her interest. But um, I'd like to ask you: Is is do you have a, an issue with drinking? Is it something you, that you? Um, that you do often to excess? Uh, to excess, no. Mm -hmm. Well, do let's I say... Issue with it? Mm -hmm. I, I haven't even... Been, the issue when I, when I drink is, is my emotions come out. Okay. And so would you say you're more honest when you drink? Mm -hmm. I say I'm more honest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... You say you're more honest. So if you more honest, more honest about my feelings. Okay, so if um, you're more honest, if you're more honest about your feelings, if you're more honest about your feelings when you drink, and when you drink, you're verbally abusive to Ramona and you yell at her and call her names. What does that say about your real feelings for Ramona? Well, my real feelings for Ramona are very strong. Well, and they're uh, certainly I'm strong. On uh, that, uh, uh, hang on, I don't want to put words in my mouth. I'm. Repeating what you said. I'm more honest. I'm more honest, I'm more honest when I'm, when I'm drinking mm -hmm. about the way that I'm feeling. Right. With yeah. the things that other people are saying to me, like my therapist, my counselor, and my probation officer. So you're saying that you're more honest uh, about how they make you feel. Are you more or less honest yeah. about how Ramona makes you feel when you drink? Here's my concern. This is the reason why I'm going down this road. I want to be clear about this. <sighs> what I'm hearing from you is that when you drink, the real feelings that you have about everybody else except Ramona come out. And they come out in the form of a raised voice, a harsh word. And you misdirect them at Ramona because you're confused. Would you say that's an accurate yeah. summation of what you said? Yes. Okay. Now, put yourself in mom and dad's shoes for, for just a moment. 
Would you say that that's a healthy dynamic for your relationship with Ramona? For her to bear the brunt of the frustration that you have for other people that you can only express when you're drinking? No, I wouldn't. That's why I quit drinking. Okay. Well, it's good if you quit drinking, if it was causing the problem, um, it was, if it was causing the excessive behavior. But the issue here, the concern is that all of that anger and rage and pent-up aggression is still there. That hasn't gone anywhere. All the alcohol does is uh, seems to make it easier for you to express it in inappropriate ways to, uh, to um, victimize other people. So we really have two problems yeah, here. Now, now I'm uh, with not drinking. I'm actually talking about things that are bothering me instead of holding them in. Okay. And this is the last two weeks, you say? This has the been... last two weeks. Okay. So what was going on? I have opened, um, I have opened up very, more than I ever have to my therapist and my counselor and my probation officer. And what changed in the last two weeks? Besides uh, the drink, I'm not talking I about the not, drinking because that's I'm, just the symptom of the problem. What I'm asking is, um, I'm to understand that you, that you and Ramona have been um, together for almost a year. Is that correct? Yes. So how do you account for the last year? The last year, we really haven't had much of a problem with the exception of maybe the last four months. Mm -hmm. It has been more in the last four months. Now, I'm looking at, I've got to be candid with you. I've um, done my due diligence here in reviewing this case and had familiarized myself somewhat with your, um, some of the legal issues that you've had. I, I understand that you're a registered sex offender. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, once again, uh, as I said before, you're not under any compulsion to answer any of my questions. But I do appreciate your candor. I hope that you can keep it up. Um, what would you say is the nature of the impulse that drove you to com commit the, the sex crime in, um, was it Kentucky, that, that you ended up doing, that you ended up being sentenced to prison for? Are you, um, are you a pedophile? No. No. Uh, I understand that this was, yeah. you, you made an attempt to have a sexual liaison with a 13-year-old with what you understood to be a 13-year-old girl. Is that right? Okay, we're getting way off the topic here. Well, we're not off the topic, sir. I'm trying to establish a, a character here um, so that I can understand firsthand uh, whether Ramona's parents' concerns about your fitness um, as her lover are justified. So this is all quite salient to um, my endeavors to do that. And I understand these are uncomfortable I questions. I, exactly. These are uncomfortable questions that I'm not going yeah. to answer right now. Okay. So you understand that from my perspective, uh, I'm asking you to be honest about your past and you're refusing to do so. Um, so you, I'll so be my, I agree with it. I'll be honest with my past to, to Ramona's parents if it had mm -hmm. come to that. Okay. Well, I'm working on their behalf tonight, sir. So what I'm getting at here is... For me, for me, to, for me to do it over the phone with somebody I've never met or even talked to before, that's not going to happen. Okay. Fair enough. Well, um, obviously that is your prerogative, but it puts me in the position well, of... I'll get my parents off my back. Just please, let's just cooperate. I need them to stop. Ramona, I'm going to be candid with you. Um, you're you're in a relationship with with Lauren that is, from my admittedly limited perspective, fairly evidently unhealthy, and. Uh, obviously I can't compel either of you to do anything. I can't tell you that you must terminate the relationship. Uh, I can Let me explain to you why I'm uncomfortable at, at telling you anything over the, over the phone 
and being somebody I've never thought you were met before. All right. Because it winds up, everything I say somehow winds up on the internet. Okay, on the, on the internet, okay. Um, I'm avoiding that. So your your concern is that he, our sir he he knows about he knows about my phone being hacked. Um, both both of you guys know. I don't know if I I don't know if you each knew that the other knew that, but he knows about how my phone was hacked and how right. some of my calls end up um, where they shouldn't yeah. have been, and that's how my parents um, were able to get a call from, well, actually, they had three calls right. that were on a CD and that was mailed to them, which is just great, which is something every daughter wants. Um, mm-hmm. And so, uh, so they, I don't know if they know that that's what happened, but, um, like, I don't know if they know that that's how they came into possession of those items is that they were hacked off my phone, but um, they didn't, I don't even think they care. They they weren't even concerned about that. They were just more concerned about what they heard yeah. in the call. Well, I have and, to be um, honest. I have to be uh, honest. I'll be candid with you. I I enjoy using the word candid. Um, based on what I know, which, as I said, is admittedly not a whole lot, I would um, have to say that I agree with mom and dad. Um, in, in expressing their concern about the, the, the fitness of this relationship. Um, besides the fact that it's, it's ostensibly a long distance relationship, you two have never met in person. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, it seems like the best Ramona that you can ever hope to be for Lauren from this, from this position is, uh, the recipient of his aggression uh, when he doesn't have anyone else on which to take it out. And when we combine that with what Lauren seems to have admitted earlier is an issue with alcohol. And we combine that with the fact that um, you are a convicted I felon. I did, not, I did not admit to having an issue with alcohol. Well, fair enough, but that's why I, surmi- I don't have a problem with it. Okay. Well, the issue is not that you quit drinking. The issue is that you started drinking. The issue is that you needed to the quit drinking. In other words, when I drank, when I drank. Mm-hmm. that's why well, I quit drinking. Okay. But you started drinking, right? You had to start before you could quit. Isn't that right? So it's the starting that I did. Yeah, but I started, I started the way back when I was in the Air Force. Well, that doesn't bolster your case at all, sir. That makes my point, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's a <laughs> long term. Like <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Ramona, I'm I'm just going to be candid with you. Um, I think that it would be in your best interest to, to terminate this relationship. I'm in agreement with mom and dad on this. Um, I think that if companionship is something you need. Uh, that, that you really feel like you have a, a need for that you don't you don't prefer to be alone or you don't ha- you don't um, you feel like you need to have somebody there that you should seek someone out you know your mom uh, had made mention of a couple of uh, people that she feels like could be eligible for you um, oh, really yeah yeah um, oh, I, I don't really? want to well, um, she didn't name any names. She said that you have you know a couple of young professionals, uh, one in the medical field and one who works in retail, and um, people that you're <laughs> that you're familiar with. And uh, she was speaking off the cuff, and I'm speaking off the cuff. I'm not telling you this is not my my professional opinion that you must see. But the point that I'm making is oh. that you need you need. Uh, I mean, and and all of this is to say nothing of the fact that there's a, a huge age difference, and and that is a, a, a of a concern, especially given the nature of Lauren's legal issues. And Lauren, I'm not trying to embarrass you or insult you when I say that. I'm just 
being candid because I like what to use the word candid a lot. What does, age, what does age have to do with her when she's over of age? Well, it, it legally nothing, but psychologically, you seem to have uh, an impulse toward younger women. You seem to have an impulse toward a, a, a predilection for um, um, potential partners who are significantly younger than you, and that is but that that's mm-hmm. what we call. I, I would say so. Ramona's half your age, and. Um, you were arrested for uh, attempting to have sex with a thirteen-year-old. That's that's certainly a suggestive. That would, wouldn't you agree? That's suggestive of a pattern. First of all, first of all, mm. first of all, yes, sir. You have no, you don't know anything about my criminal offense. So that's not true. I may not know everything even, about it, but I know something about it. I know more than nothing. I know that she yeah, did time yeah, for it. You know, she pleaded yeah, guilty to. Yes, that, that is mm-hmm. the only thing that you know. You don't know anything about it. Well, wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree that's have, fairly you significant? Have no idea about you it. You don't think that's fairly significant? You don't think that from an outsider's standpoint? No, no it's not. What I should believe you I'm instead. Not, no, I, don't, I don't think it's significant until you know the story. Well, let me ask you a question. Why don't you tell me in one or two sentences what really happened? Did you try to have because sex with a thirteen-year-old? I, I don't. I don't owe that explanation to you. No, but you certainly can't. What you're saying is that I shouldn't believe the available evidence, but that you're not going to tell me anything. So your innocence should be my default okay. position. Surely you can see the, how ridiculous that sounds. I don't owe you anything. You don't, don't owe me anything. You you're anything. absolutely right. But in the absence have, of your in the, the absence of your testimony about, to me, all I have to go on is the evidence. Is and happened. the evidence says that you're guilty the of the that, crime for which you're convicted. Now, about, if you want to tell me something happy. Okay, that has <laughs> that has no bearing on what we're talking about right now. I'm supposed to say, did you try yeah, to have sex with a thirteen? The only thing I care about is for you to know the depth of my offense. Certainly no not. You but in the absence of happened. your direct testimony to me, all I have to the go on. The only thing that I care about is that Ramona is happy. Wonderful. If you want her to be happy, I'm changing. Which, yeah, I'm changing things about me so I can make sure that I make her happy. If, Fair if enough. She did feel that. She did. What does any of that have to do with what, what I said? Do. What does any of that have to do with what you, I said? You about the nature you of your relationship. Well, with what I just said. With what I just said. Mm-hmm. It makes no reason for you to know anything about what I have to say about my criminal history. You, whether or not you divulge your criminal history to me has no bearing on whether you want Ramona to be happy. Do you want her to be happy? You want her to be healthy, right? I so what if, I, if, what you, if I told you, you that feel, objectively the best way for her to be healthy and therefore happy for would her. be to be away from you? What would you say then? What if it yeah. turns out that the yeah. best yeah. thing for Ramona yeah. is to not be with you? Do you still want that for her? Uh, or is her happiness less I important than yours? <laughs> how is it that you're a therapist and you're trying to overvoice me? Because you're trying to do the same thing to me. What I'm not I'm not entitled to stand my ground if you try uh, to my therapist, my uh, therapist. I'm not your therapist. When I started I'm Ramona's talking, therapist. When I started talking, my therapist always stays quiet so she can hear what I'm saying. That's because you're her patient. You're not my patient. Ramon is my client. Uh, right. yeah, exactly. I'm working on her so behalf. Uh, not your... So I'm not obligated to, to treat you. Would you hear what I have to say? I want to hear what you have you to say. You told judgment? me that you're not going to say. I, I would like to hear very much what you have you, to say. You, 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 seem, to be, you seem to be sad on knowing about my criminal history. Yeah, you don't think that's significant. If I'm evaluating your fitness to be Ramona's uh, rom- romantic I don't part, think it's significant for you to know. And, and I'm trying to evaluate you. In other words, your character is not significant to me you if I'm in the, in the context me. of my evaluating your fitness to be her companion. Are you kidding me? Well, you can't be well, serious. You want to evaluate me? You do that in person. <laughs> Don't do it over <laughs> phone where I, have, uh, where I could wind up on the internet. That's not going to happen. So is that is that your concern? No the only reason you're not you talking get. about... The only reason you're not talking about your criminal past now is because you're afraid that it could end up on the internet. Is that right? Exactly. Nobody on the internet needs to know anything about me. 
Well, as it happens, your motive for not mm. wanting to discuss the matter is immaterial. I have to go on what I know. I can't go on what you want me to assume about you as it pertains to your guilt or innocence. Uh, so you go on we're what back. You want. So I we're back, to Ramona circle, being happy. And we're back to where I was 10 minutes ago, her. which is saying, Ramona, as your therapist, <clears throat> it is my professional opinion that this is this relationship is not a good fit for you. This this guy doesn't even know me. I'm talking to him ten minutes, and he's yelling at me. I wonder how, how long is it going to be before you call me a bitch? And, and you, you're, my, you're a therapist, and you're yelling at me. You ain't that smart. I'm not your therapist. <laughs> you understand? I can tell you whatever I need yeah, to, thank you. especially. Thank God for that. Yeah. Thank God for that, because I would fire. I would fire you the first time you heard your voice. Well, I wouldn't have taken the case, so you wouldn't have had the chance. Now, Ramona, it's my opinion that, that you need to terminate this relationship. Um, in telling you that, I have done all I can do, unless you want me to elaborate on my concerns here. Um, but I, I'd like you to elaborate. I can, I can tell you, you probably, you probably want to terminate because you're offended by me. No, I, I tried to you. I, in the first place, Lauren, I was probably speaking. offended because I won't tell you about anything about before. No, I'm not offended. My criminal I'm just, I just think it's interesting that when I consult the legal record, you get offended. You say that the legal record doesn't tell the whole story. So I say, okay, well, tell me the whole story, Lauren. No, I refuse because it might be on the internet. You can't have it both ways. But, if, yeah, I, yeah. If, if you're, if you're not I going, to, if you're not going to tell, if you're not going to tell, no, I don't not, owe you maybe, anything. No, but not with you want to get in. You want to get in person? Then I'll explain it to you. Well, come see me, Lauren. Don't forget it. Nine to five, Monday through Friday. Go ahead. Yeah. Just got to make an appointment. Me. I can't. Ma I can't no. say the main right now. I I I know all I need to know about you. If there's something you think I should know about you that I don't know already, you come see me. Okay. Failing that, I'm okay, going to you call my probation officer and you tell her. You tell the. This that is Lauren. He is Lauren, so that I, can come Lauren down I don't you, work I'll come down and see you. I'm not going to do... And don't tell can, me then you can explain to me X, why you yell or I don't work for you. I'm not going to do anything. If you have something you want to say to me, say it. Otherwise, stop talking so that I can finish what I have to say to Ramona. Now, do you have anything to say to me of substance? I'm not talking about, I think you're yeah, a terrible therapist. Uh, therapist. Substance, I think, it, I think it's digging, it's trying to dig in somewhere you don't need to be digging into. Okay, I appreciate you expressing your thoughts about what I should be doing as Ramona's therapist. Ramona, you've heard my, my piece on it. As you know, we discussed this when we sat down with mom and dad earlier this week, and um, we agreed that I would convey the essence of this phone session with them. So I need to know what you intend to do here. If you intend to terminate this relationship or continue to pursue it, Ramona, if you want to terminate it, that's up to you. I just want you to be happy. Um, why do you think that this can't be worked out? Well, um, for all the reasons I've articulated, like why do you think he can't change? I'm not going to say that he can't change, but let me give you an analogy. A person with a cold can change. They can eventually take medication and be cured of their cold, but you don't want to be around that person while they're still sick because you'll get sick too. And in, in the case of someone with uh, the issues that I suspect Lauren may have, um, it's unhealthy for you to be in this relationship as long as he's still in the process of becoming well. Now, if at some point in the future he's able to, to uh, deal with some of the issues that I think he obviously has, maybe it can be a different situation. But um, frankly, even in the best of, of circumstances, let's say that Lauren were a healthy individual that was, that was a good fit for you. It's still only half a relationship. You're on the phone. You know, you're a thousand miles away. Um, meanwhile, you have eligible people around you. And if companionship is something that you need, I think you need to consider your other options. I'm just being candid with you. 
because um, I think you can handle it. I think you need to hear it. And Lauren, I know it's not comfortable, f easy for you to hear that. I know you probably don't agree with it, but I'm hopeful if, if what you if, if your if your objective here really is what you claim it is, which is Ramona's best interest. And I think if you look at it objectively, you'll see it see it the way I do. Now I'm not I mean it's immaterial whether you do or not. That's what I not do about is Ramona being happy. That's right. You you said that and I That's what, I what I'm about. saying. When I, let me ask you this. Let me give you a hypothetical, okay? And don't fly off the handle. What if it were the case that the best thing for Ramona were not to have any association with you? Would you still want what's best for her? Yes, I would. Okay. Then I want you to consider the possibility. I happy is what I want. Then I want you to consider the possibility, and I hope you'll consider the possibility that that may be what she needs is a clean break from you. Now, Ramona, obviously you're the only one that can, that can action that, make it a reality. So I need to know what you want me to tell your parents. If there's a resolution to this. To go to hell. I mean, oh gosh. I mean, I mean, you know what? My, Mm, I, um, I, I know. Start crying, talking about I know it's a crying. tough thing. I want um, you to, I want, let's let's do something. I want you to let's try a little a quick exercise here. Why don't you tell me what you get out of this relationship? Say again. I want you to tell me if you can what you get out of this relationship. How you feel it benefits your life. Um. I enjoy talking to Lauren when he's sober, and um, he is funny. I've I've always said that that he's very funny. He definitely makes me laugh. Um, like he he does make funny jokes, and um, he's he's very goofy. He has a goofy sense of humor. Um, and Um, Do you think that's a sufficient that foundation nice? for? Well, I mean, he he makes me laugh. Um, okay. And he's he's a musician. He wants to be a country singer, and even though, admittedly, I am not the biggest fan of country music, although there's a few songs I like. Um, yeah, I, that would, uh, you know, I'm supportive of that if that's what he wants to do. And that would be interesting for me to see that career take off. Lauren, is that your, is that your profession now? Is that what you do now for a living? Music, country music? No, I drive a tractor now. I'm, I'm, you drive a tractor, you say? Yeah, yeah. Tractor trailer, yeah. Oh, um, okay. Right now I'm unemployed. I was driving back to Taylor. Now You're unemployed. Okay. Yeah, what I'm collecting was... unemployment right now. Okay. How long have you been unemployed? Oh, been three months because I had to move in the process. So, uh -huh. and I had to fight to get unemployment. So, you apply. You you did. Are you collecting unemployment presently? You don't have to answer these questions, of course. I'm, yeah. You are collecting. Okay. I'm, I'm collecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm collecting unemployment right now. Been out looking for a job, and I've got some good potential jobs that oh. well, I should be making double what I made before. Hmm. Well, I know that uh, the nature of our conversation here tonight, I, I I've upset you, and um, that wasn't my intention. But as I said, I I have to be candid. I love using the word candid, and I have to be honest about what I see as a professional. Um, therapy guy, and um, I'm working. If you and I were face to face, I wouldn't have any problem at all telling you everything mm -hmm. about what happened. Okay, I understand that. I, I understand your concerns, yeah, we, given the um, compromise. Right. 
I understand that. Yeah. Of, but you, but you have to see it from about me going on the internet. There, there's people but, on the internet that's obsessed with me, and it, it's really weird, and it's odd for me, and uncomfortable, and, mm -hmm. and so. It, you say people that are obsessed. He thinks with he's me. a celebrity already. He's not put out his first country album, but he already thinks he's a celebrity. But no, I, um, I, um, I'm upset. I mean, I don't agree with that celebrity status. My what? What, what um, makes you think that you're Lauren? If I can, what makes you think you're a celebrity? This is interesting. I mean, it's when yeah, because of because of the, the crap on online about me. Okay, can you like, can you explain I, that in more? I, I don't I'd know a lot of. You'd rather not. Okay. Again. All right. Well, um, if Google is paying. I mean. Well, I'll tell you, you what I've seen. I, I, re I, I read some. Of, I read some of the legal summaries. I did. I was able to see. Um, you know this this um, this incident. You know with the television the uh, television show. I, I saw the all that footage, and I read. Um, there's a website that um, has uh, the, all this information. Has this uh, chat. Um, repository of this conversation that you had with this what you thought was a 13 year old girl so i've read all that it was a lot it was 400 pages or something it was yeah, uh it took me a couple days to to that. okay i mean see oh this is God, you read, but you have you to read read it. It. This this is, i would tell you about when I face well face but this is this is a problem i mean i this is a problem for me um Candidly, I love using that word. Um, when you refuse to tell your side of the story, you leave me no choice but to draw conclusions based on what I know. Okay, I uh, I know that. I mean, yeah, you, you, it's not like I have big choice. <laughs> well, that's I really that's, don't have a that's choice. fine, I cannot, but I, I cannot, That's fine, but I, I have to give home. I have to give counsel to my clients on the basis of what I can verify. I can't just take you at your word. If you say I'm innocent, but I can't tell you any more than that. In other words, here's here's what I'm wondering. If yeah, I'm not saying if I'm I, completely if, innocent, <clears throat> what I did was wrong. Things I what said did was you wrong. do? You say what, what I, did I did was wrong. What what did you do? What do you admit to doing? I admit to doing everything that that you see on the internet. On, well, on the, <laughs> okay. The and, so that's what uh, what I, I see, admit, what I see I on the internet the and the wrong. chat log. Is that you groomed a thirteen? What you thought was a thirteen-year-old girl to have a sexual relationship with you? That's what I see on the internet. So when you tell me that you're guilty of what I see on the internet, we're right back to square one. You see that? But right back to square one puts us uh, puts us right at the point where I can't tell you I can't tell you any more than what you're okay. Right but you but you just said that you are guilty of what's on the internet. I said if you were face to face. If you're face to face, I would have. Yeah, no you did. You, you. you did say that. You also but said I, I have a, that I you have a are guilty account. of what's on the internet, and what's on the internet is that you groomed what you thought was a 13 year old to uh, for a sexual relationship. Yeah, yeah, which, mean, so you did do that. Said those words, and it was me that said those words, and, and okay, me that so, went to the house. Nobody else did it. Okay, so then we're right back. It, to it was me. Okay, it, then we're right then back we're back where we started. Where I, can't, where I can't tell you any more than that. Well, if if all I you're know, doing I is appealing your innocence, I did. if all you're doing is appealing your innocence, why would it matter if that did end up on the internet? Wouldn't you want that to be on the internet where people could hear you make your case? I don't understand. In other words, obviously we don't want what this discussion to be on the internet. And Ramona already knows that if it does uh, end up on the internet, then I'll have legal recourse against her because that's that's a, obviously a violation of. Uh, the patient side of the patient practitioner confidentiality. So, um, uh, uh, wait, wait, sir, um, sir, um, I, the, I, I, I'm, I mean, I can't even talk. Would you be able to take some kind of action against me if it does? Because I, my phone has been getting hacked. Um, well, I'm, I'm not, not saying that I, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I that I would. I'm not even saying that I could. It would depend on the circumstances. If you were knowingly recording this conversation and uh, publishing it 
for some public consumption without my knowledge or without Lauren's knowledge, then yes, there would I would have legal recourse because I'm the practitioner. But you know, if it was somebody else that hacked your phone or something, that's obviously a different circumstance. So no, if if there's no malicious uh, intent on your part, then you're not you're not culpable. But that's immaterial. No, I, I didn't. Say, I didn't. I didn't say any of that. To the, the, that's not the point. The point that I'm making is, Lauren, from your perspective, if your response to what I've asked you is to appeal your innocence, I don't understand why you would have a problem with that being recorded anyway. I mean, all this other stuff that we've discussed, if it's being recorded, it's all been recorded, right? So all this other stuff is, you, you see what I'm saying? If all you're going to do is tell your side of the story, why why, why, why is that suddenly confident? What I'm saying is there's more of the story than me just going on the internet and uh, and talking to a 13-year-old girl and saying things to her that I shouldn't have said. Okay. But you admit that you did say things to yeah. her that you shouldn't have said. Yes, I did. I you, said the, did. you said the things that are in the chat log that I read, correct? Yeah, well, there's some stuff in there that, that I didn't say. Mm-hmm. Did you did you make sexually inappropriate inappropriate sexual remarks to what you thought was a thirteen year old girl? I did, and this was all ten years ago. Right, but but you see what I'm trying to establish a pattern of behavior here because I'm trying to I'm trying to sketch a character here so that I can understand you better. Because you see, I can't if I'm going to advise Ramona about how she should proceed in her relationship with you, or if she should at all. I've got to know something about you. You see what I'm saying? That's what all this is about. I'm not trying to... You can also consider that 36 years before that, I never had a criminal record at all except for one DUI that was barely over the limit, and I thought, thought that I was sober. Okay, the reason that I drove was to make sure that my brother didn't drive and didn't walk and drunk. But, I'm Lauren, there. listen, that doesn't strengthen your case. It weakens it, and it strengthens mine. Let me tell you why. My advice to Ramona, based on what I know about you, is that you have sexual proclivities that may not be healthy or safe, and you may have a drinking issue. You've just admitted that you made sexually inappropriate remarks to what you thought was a 13-year-old girl, and that the only other legal issue you'd had prior to that was a DUI. Those both, yeah. speak, to, those both speak to my reservations about you. They, they've, they, all they do is bolster uh, my concerns. What I'm saying is you may have a drinking problem. You may have a... Before that, I, uh, 36 years before that, I never had an, an issue at all. I, well, I Lauren, never had any record at all. Bef before a murderer murders, he's never murdered anybody. Should that mitigate the his <laughs> guilt as a murderer? Well, I didn't murder anyone either. No, but if you tried to have sex with a 13-year-old girl once, oh, that's enough. And then, late, and then 10 years later, you're trying to pursue a relationship with someone half your age. That suggests a proclivity for for young girls. Absolutely, it does. Are you kid How does it not? But how? <laughs> when I was nine, when I was nineteen, I, was, I dated a twenty nine year old. Okay. Did that make me look bad? Did that make her look bad? No. If I was I mean, I don't know any nineteen year old who wouldn't date a twenty nine year old if they had the opportunity. That's just a guy being a guy. I'm kidding. But listen. Um, so, what, what about what about the lady that I dated? She was twenty nine, dating a nineteen year old. Did I make her look bad? Yes. How? Because it's the same dynamic. In, you sure? I mean, what, number. Thank you. In, if if two if two people in, uh, like each other, what does the number have to do with? It? What, well, what is it for anybody else to tell uh, those two people that they can't be together? What constitutes two people liking each other? What is that? Let's unpack that a little bit. What, what does it mean when we say two people like each other? What does that mean? Why do two Why do two people like each other? Because they have. Okay, well, Ramona and I have been together for almost a year. Yeah, and we haven't let's, even met in person yet. Mm -hmm. Let's make so it more general. Let's keep. Let's keep. Let's keep. There must um, be something between us that makes each other like each other. Maybe, but that doesn't mean it's healthy or good. See, that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm, I, I, obviously, there's, there's an interest. Uh, there must have been something healthy about it. Why? 
But people obviously don't. Obviously, hadn't. Obviously, it hadn't, obviously it hasn't been bad all the, the whole time. How do you know? How do I know? How do I know just because you say so? What I'm saying is the length is not an indicator of healthiness in a relationship. But there's people that spend their whole. It can be. I'm saying that it can't. What I'm saying is that um, when two people have a have a, a a connection, an emotional bond, right? That's that's based on something. That's based on some um, something that that they identify in each other. That is, uh, there's a like spirit there, and um, you know, let me give you an example. Something alike with me and Ramona. Well, I'm you. You keep trying to bring this back to you and Ramona, and I'm trying to establish a pattern of behavior on your part because that's 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 the more pressing matter for me as someone who's trying to evaluate you as regards your fitness um, to be in a relationship with her. If you show a proclivity. Mm -hmm. For she, that are uh, this is the one thing that we that we disagree on is that, that it matters to me what, what Ramona thinks about me. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Why I'm, I'm trying to change. Okay, but I'm not. That Man, that's that's she, fine. But that's it. That's the that's only immature. reason that I'm that just, that has no bearing on what I'm talking about right now. You keep trying to go back to you, you're trying she, to. She, she, feel, she listen, is the only reason Martin, that makes you're me, trying to make an appeal to emotion here, and you and what basically what you want me to do. Is is be impressed by this uh, emotional um, um, allegiance that you seem to have to her, and I'm not buying it because that has no bearing on the elements of information I'm trying to extract from the situation. I'm trying to determine something about your character, about your fitness to be her partner, and it doesn't. It, I, I I don't give a damn about how you feel emotionally. Emotions are 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 an effect. They're not a cause, and you seem to be someone yeah, who's the, the driven by his emotions. In order for us to get emotions to each other. Say that again? There must have been a cause there in order for us to get emotions to each other. Absolutely. But that doesn't mean that it's a healthy cause. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Uh, in other words, just, in other words just, we both like to enjoy each other. Well, that's <laughs> crack addicts enjoy being around crack. That doesn't make crack good for them. Yeah. <laughs> Must be something good for me and her because we seem to work on our problems out with each other. What if you're crack? Again, I, against all against all odds because we've never met. Uh huh. Plus, uh, plus, I've constantly had my therapist, my counselor, and my probation officer all in the, trying to trying to get me away from Ramona. Okay, we've never so met. Now, let, now let's think face of, to face. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Your therapist wants you to get away from Ramona. Correct. They want, they want me to make a healthy choice. They want me to let's, be safe let's to just, for someone. Let Let's keep this and simple. Yeah, yes or no? Yes or no? Your therapist wants you to detach from Ramona. Yes. She wants me to be face to face with Ramona. Okay, that's not possible right now for whatever reason. So she doesn't think you should be in this relationship as it is as, as it's constituted presently. Correct. Unless it's, unless it's going to be healthy. Okay. Your parole officer says, seems to be saying, maybe you should make a break from Ramona. Yes? She's saying that? Unless we meet. Okay. okay. Ramona's therapist is saying that you should make a break from Ramona. Yes? You see where I'm going with this? Kind of seems... Kind of seems like, kind of seems like there's there's a consensus developing yeah. um, among those who are best qualified to evaluate the situation. Okay, but I haven't heard Ramona's therapist say that we should meet so we could really find out. But that's well, what my, that's what my therapist, my probation officer, and my counselor are all saying. Well, that's because Lauren, in the best case, um, she's going to go meet up in person with a convicted sex offender that she's never met in real life. That could be, that could be a lethal situation for her. How do she we know? More about with a, with a, with a drinking problem and anger issue. So she's, she's going to go to a place where she doesn't know anybody and meet someone that she's never met in person who's been convicted of sex crimes, has, a, has anger issues, and an alcohol problem. Does that sound like something I should recommend she do? Ramona knows more about me than, the, than my own mother knows about me. What does that have to do with what I'm saying? 
she knows more about you than I do. But what I do know about you is that you're a convicted sex offender with anger issues and an alcohol problem. And, and but you you don't know the and no job. Say again. You know, she knows the reasons. Oh, and, and no job. You throw <laughs> that in. Okay, before Lauren. Years, before let me before let years, me be, I worked in a cast in my vacation time just so I could work. Let me let me be blunt with you. So, does that you, make me you, a bad person? Just, just, you just said she knows the reasons. She knows the reasons. Well, let me say this. If you're a convicted sex offender who tried to have sex with a 13-year-old, you have anger issues and an alcohol problem, I don't care okay, what listen, the don't you, There's that. nothing you can I, say I to me to that would make me say, that well, then that's understandable yeah, that you're a sex offender and an alcoholic. You're not understanding because of reasons. That. Because of whatever I reasons. I do not I don't need care you to keep reasons. throwing if that those in things my face. Have, are true. The, okay, if you tell me or not, I'll still tell you the same thing over and over again until you hear what I say. That's fine. You, know, you don't want me to keep throwing me another, being a convicted right. sex offender. What, you I don't know what you're saying? Keep throwing that in my face. Stop throwing reality in my face. Stop hitting me with facts. That's what you're telling me right now. Yeah, quit, reminding, quit reminding me of the truth. Every day well, I deal with it. Well, without you somebody telling me, uh -huh. constantly in my mind. Yeah, it should I don't be. Need somebody reminding me of it? It's constantly in my mind. I'm not here to I do what you need me to do. I don't know trying I, to throw it in my face. Frankly, I'm not concerned with what you need me to do or not do. I'm concerned about Ramona's best interest. And when it comes to that, sure these, these, these yeah, facts sure about what happened about salient. The what has to do with my life. Say that again? I said you, you're showing more concern with the, the stuff that has to go on, has been going on in my life. Yeah. Because those are things that tell me something about you. And learning about you is how I'm able to determine whether you're fit to be in a relationship with her, which is my concern here. When you don't, when you don't know the, the whole story, you don't know anything about me other than what you have, have seen uh -huh. NBC put out. Uh-huh. That's what you So, know. So let me, let me ask you this then. You, don't want to talk, you, you won't tell me the whole story. You keep saying, well, you don't know the whole story, which I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but but let's ignore that for a second and let's just let's just make this more general what on earth could you possibly say to me that would mitigate the fact that you tried to have sex with a 13 year old is there it, i mean just, let's just, be, let's face just face. Be, let me ask you a question face face, do, you have, I'll tell you. do you have do you have girls in your family nieces or a daughter anything like that you know any young girls in your family that you care about if somebody said to you Lauren, somebody tried to ha to manipulate your niece into having sex with him. Is there is there anything that that I could follow that with, right? That would change how you felt about him? If I said, "Well, Lauren, I got to tell you, this guy tried to have sex with your with your thirteen year old niece, but you don't know the whole story because you see," and then w w would is there anything I could say after that that would change your feeling about that guy at that moment? You say, I don't give a damn what his reason is. He tried to have sex with a 13-year-old. That's bad. It's objectively wrong. And I don't care what your reasons for doing it are. You did it. I don't care if you care. Okay. Then can I finish? You don't know. So, uh, okay. so, I don't know. So and and you since you won't tell me. no bearing on how, I, on how I feel and I deal with it every day. Well, you, then it's fortunate for you that I don't care how you feel. I care about Ramona. The last thing I need is for you to throw up my face. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not concerned with, with whether or not it makes you uncomfortable when I keep bringing it up. You did it. It's, it's a part of who you are. And that has to be um, a significant it's factor. It's not a part of who I am. It's, it's a, it's, it is it a, part a part of my life that I, that I messed up. Except that you clearly have a predilection for girls younger than you, women younger than you. Now, obviously, there's no legal issue. Except Everyone for what? Is a legal adult. Except but for what? He's also, I said, obviously, it, it's, it's a, pr a proclivity on your part to pursue younger women. I'm not going to say girls because Ramon is a legal adult. There's no legal issue here. But this is, this is about uh, behavioral tendencies on your part. That's what I'm looking for, and that's what I'm concerned with. You, you clearly have... Uh, an interest in uh, women who are much younger than you. And that's, that's indicative of some mental health issues on your part. Now, it's not my place to diagnose you. Like you, as we said many times, I'm not your, um, I'm not your therapist, but 
as it as it happens, I don't need to be. That's not what I'm. That's not my. That's not what I'm here to do. What I'm here to do is advise Ramona, based on what I have known, what I've learned about you in doing my wow. due diligence, and what I've been able to ascertain about you in talking to you uh, here tonight, and based on that information, I don't think it's a good situation for her. I don't think it's a good situation for you. But that's irrelevant. I'm not concerned with you. I'm concerned with her. And I don't think it's a good situation for her. Now, I've, I've made my concerns known explicitly, candidly. I, I have a question, though. I have a question, though. Um, I mean, how long does it take someone to cure themselves with the things that he's dealing with well uh frankly that all depends on the willingness of the individual to acknowledge his need to be cured what i hear from lauren is a lot of denial a lot of deflection um he really wants to appeal to extenuating circumstances to explain his mistakes that's very unhealthy it, that's a very bad tell about his um, mental state and um, more salient to your well-being Ramona it's a very bad tell um, concerning his fitness to be your companion because he doesn't want to take, you he doesn't want to take ownership for the things he does and really? He seems, yes, sir. And he, he seems, I uh, excuse me, Lauren, Lauren, I, I'm, Lauren I'm, I'm talking to Ramona. I'm trying to answer Ramona's question. Please don't interrupt. Just because I'm, I'm not to, telling you, just because I'm not telling you, this is my whole story. Uh huh. Doesn't right. mean that you yeah. have the right just, to say that I don't want to take ownership. I take ownership uh, in what I did. Which is try to have, which is, which is try to have sex with a 13 year old girl. Which is, which is drive drunk. Which is called well, Ramona once a bitch. Again, well, mm -hmm. once again, you're trying to get information out of me. I'm not trying to get information out of you. I'm confronting you with the reality of what you've done. Well, face to face, I'll tell you. Okay, I'm well, I'm not telling it. Face to face, maybe you'll change my mind. I wouldn't bet on it, but it's possible. But we're not face to face. So since we're not face to face and you don't want to talk about it, I'm going to finish what I started to say to Ramona. I'll thank you to keep your mouth shut. Um, Ramona, I uh, think that you need you to... You said that in a different way, it might help. Well, I'm not going to say that. Stop acting like a kid, I'll stop talking to you like one. You're acting you like a... You're acting like, like a kid, like a, and I'll stop like one. You're acting like a petulant child. You won't let anybody else finish a sentence. You keep raising your voice. Well, show a little respect when you talk. Don't, don't tell me to keep your mouth shut. I'm not being disrespectful. Lauren, <laughs> I'm not well, obligated to be nice. Well, I'm not obligated to handle you with kid gloves. I'm, I'm not obligated to, to use flowery language because anything else will hurt your feelings and treat you with kid gloves. If you keep opening your mouth okay. and interrupting me when I'm trying to say something to somebody else, when I'm trying to talk to my patient, you know, if, if we were in person, maybe I'd do more than tell you to shut your mouth. But since all I can do is tell you to shut your mouth, shut yeah. your mouth. Let yeah. me finish what I have to say to her. What's that? What would you do? What, what would, would I do? I, do? It depends on what you do. And that's my point. It depends on what you do. The circumstances are a function of your actions. If you act civilly, nothing. If you act like a jerk, whatever I need to do to get you to stop acting like a jerk. That's what I do. Again? Interpret it in any way. Like. Yeah, I, what I'm doing is in response to what you're doing. If you, stop you, acting, you me? if you stop acting like a jerk, you I would. You're going to hit me? No, I didn't say that. Is that what you heard? Right. Is that how you is that yeah, how you settle things? Doing. Is that how you settle arguments? No, that's is that I how you settle it. argument that's with Ramona? You say. Had one too many drinks that's and your officer upset you, and you had to let out a little aggression. Is that how you would handle yourself in person? Yeah, let's talk about what you would do in person, Lauren. That's how I, that's how I took what you said. Hmm. Why? I wonder why your mind went right to that. Your mind went right to physical because violence of, because you're aggressive Very. the way you're talking. Yeah. I, you can learn, you can take that a hundred different ways. You decided I, to take it never, as, a, as a physical, a physical threat. That's very telling. Very interesting.
I how have many fights have you been in? As in aggressively York? like you are. How many fights have you been in? in your, how many fights have you been in in your life? One. Yeah. What did she say? Yeah. Oh, isn't that funny? Yeah, it is. I think it is. I thought it was pretty good. Now, yeah, I want to. It's called probably because you're not a professional. Well, professional wouldn't say something like that. Wait till Ramona's parents get my bill, then we'll see how professional I am. <laughs> I charge like one. Uh, they're gonna love you. Uh, I'm, uh, they're gonna, I'm, they're I'm gonna sure love you, you. Like when, I, when they when they see what I charge for a three hour house call. It was a phone call. They're really gonna. That's really gonna boost your your. Uh, uh, so um, that, uh, that's why you're trying to say all this stuff so you can make the time longer. So no nah, man. Out of them on the hey, all you got to do is that's tell you. Sounds like me. That's all. All you got to do is tell your side of the story. So, Ramona, uh, you. Ramona, you you've heard my take on as a uh, professional, and um, I just need to know. Hey, what I you do have some questions. Is my sure? Uh, I, I yeah, I do have some questions. Um, so, you, um, okay, so I got your answer about like how long? Like, I mean. Is is my being around him? Is that more likely to make him change quicker? Uh, I don't think so. No, and the reason I say that is because as long as you're, um, as long as you are his focus, anything he does will be done for the benefit of gaining your approval, which is not the reason for him to to deal with the things he needs to deal with to get better. He's he's got to do it because it's the right and healthy thing to do objectively, uh, regardless of uh, how it affects the perception of anyone uh, about whose opinion he's concerned. As long as he's got someone around him that he feels is evaluating him, that's going to be the impetus for any action he takes, and it, it and it can't be if the action is to be real and lasting which is what he needs to do before he can be a good fit for anybody. The best thing that you can do is break yourself off clean. And as I said before, um, depending on the nature and the um, profundity of the emotional connection that you feel like you have with him, um, if you need some time, that's one thing. You should probably take it. If you feel like you need a companion, then... Uh, you need a real relationship and a, a whole relationship, an entire relationship with someone who's frankly closer to your age, um, closer to your socioeconomic status and closer geographically because the physical component is an important part of the heavy relationship. Does that Are make you sense? you saying like sex and everything? Um, sure. We can put it in that, in those terms. I just mean that, um, Obviously, there's a there's a closeness. I mean, Lawrence alluded to it himself numerous times, or over the duration of this conversation, that, that there's a difference between being physically uh, present with somebody and uh, and just talking to them on the phone. You know, um, obviously, the sexual component is significant for many people, um, but beyond that, there's just the um, the psychological effect of being in proximity with this person and being able to share um, space with them and, uh, you know, hold hands with them, go eat together, uh, that sort of thing. I mean, just all the little things that make companionship so wonderful. You know, those are things that you need and that you deserve. Does that make sense? Like, um, because, like, I, I don't know what his plans are now as far as um, like, you know, as far as we're concerned and like being together and for a while he was talking about moving down here. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but he, you know, he has to get off of um, when he finishes his registered sex offender class and then gets, and then he'll, he might be able to get off probation he'd be mm -hmm. able to move down here, but, um, like barring that, you know, then it'll, it'll be, you know, that's when he'll be able to move down here. So, I mean, I, you know, I guess he's 
making plans. I don't know. We haven't met or anything, so I'm not holding him to do that until we meet. But um, well, that would be my plan because I don't want to take her away from her family. Well, Ramona, I think I've made my professional opinion on the matter pretty clear. Um, obviously, if you have any other questions, we can talk about them. Um, if not... Do you uh, think I came up... I, I have a question. I came up with an idea, um, and if you want to talk to me... Um, privately and, and Lauren will hang up. If you want to talk to me um, privately, then we can. Um, if you have yeah, anything I think else that, to that, say. But I think that might be, might be okay. It might be good. might be able to say some things without uh, getting interrupted. Um, but I do need to know what you intend, what you want me to tell your parents um, regarding the resolution that we discussed. Um, if if you intend to terminate the relationship or um, if you intend to continue to pursue it at this time, um, I, I am committed to communicating with them tomorrow about this, about our, our conversation here tonight. So I do need to know what you uh, want me to convey to them. Okay. Um, hang on one second. Okay. Okay, I, um, and just a second. Uh, oh, I'm... I gotta... 